Okay, everybody, we're going to do a quick adaptive cruise control demonstration. Thank you, according to Tom, for helping me with this. We're on a private road, so don't freak out. This is just going to be a very low-speed version of what the car is going to do, because the car does have full stop-and-go capabilities. So let me show you how the vehicle operates first, or how to use the adaptive cruise control. And what I'm going to do is put my seatbelt on. It's not going to work if you're going to have your seatbelt on. And I'm going to go into my little screen here. I'm going to put it in assist right here. So, and you can see adaptive cruise control is off. It's going to be in drive. It'll work in drive, sport, or manual. You need to have your seatbelt on, and you can't have this on. This is the stock right here. We have a standard mode, or just this is off position. Pull it towards you to turn the system on. Resume, cancel, all the way off. This rocker is for distance. There's four distances. The car will default to the following distance three every time you get in the car, and you set it right here. When you have the system active, so I'm going to pull the, the paddle towards me, you can see the ring go around the speedometer like that, and these are all the different preset speeds. What I'm going to do now, since the system is active, I'm going to set a speed, and now you can see it's going to default to 20. 20 is the lowest speed you can set it to. When I go up and down, I can change the speed. This is the target speed now. And you can see the system is active in green. This is my vehicle, and this is sensing the Honda Accord right there. When this little car goes away, it means it can't sense a vehicle. If you approach a car too fast for the adaptive cruise control to do it all by itself to stop, this turns red, and that means it's indicating or requesting driver assistance. So if I take my foot off the brake right now, the cruise control is set to where you have that darker red thing there. It's at 35 miles an hour. It knows there's a car right there. So if I indicate to the driver to accelerate, he's going to go. And I'm going to push the resume paddle here, then it's going to follow. If I tell him to stop, he is going to stop, and the S3 is going to stop. I didn't use the pedals at all. It did it all by itself, and this will go all the way up to 90 miles an hour. And then he's going to come to a stop, and then the car is going to stop. And the other thing you can do is you can use your... Um, is you can use your gas pedal here. The car is, and it overrides, and you take your foot right, right off the gas, and it goes again. This is all me. When he comes to a stop again, the car will stop itself. And this goes all the way up from zero to 95 miles an hour. So it's a very low speed demonstration of how the adaptive cruise control with stop and go works. And we'll just follow him again, just for the hell of it. And now the car is driving itself. I'm just gonna follow him. My feet are not on the pedals. You can see even in a tight turning situation, I'm going to cover the brake just in case it loses sensitivity of him, which it is. <laughs> so let's not crash into him. Turn the system off. But there's just your quick little adaptive cruise control with stop and go demonstration in the Audi S3. Let me know if you have any questions. It's going to work exactly the same for an A3 as well and pretty much any other Audi with ACC with stop and go.